So one of the most important things to me in my life is my animals. I have two dogs and I have two cats. And one of my dogs is an Italian Greyhound. He's currently in his crate. I wonder if he's going to come out for this video because it's kind of funny that I'm making a video about Italian Greyhounds. And uh, my terrier is here keeping me company <laughs> uh, even though this video isn't about him. But he knows all about Italian Greyhounds too because he lives with one. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my Italian Greyhound and what it's been like to own an Italian Greyhound or I don't really think own is the right word. Like he is part of my family and he isn't owned and no one owns him. He's his own little animal because he has such like a big personality. So I wanted to talk a little bit about owning an Italian Greyhound because they are becoming a lot more popular. So I'll just talk a little bit about the breed, about my experience with my dog Captain and uh, also a little bit about his story and then also talk a little bit about if you're thinking about getting an Italian Greyhound, how to tell if it's right for you. So I got Captain about three years ago. It's going to be in January. And he was surrendered to the Greyhound Rescue that does uh, Greyhounds, but also other sighthounds. The family that the Italian Greyhound is part of is called sighthounds. So in that family of dog, you have dogs like Salukis, Greyhounds, Whippets, uh, Irish Wolfhounds. So those are just like a few of the dogs that are the most popular in the sighthound category and the Italian Greyhound is the smallest of them all. Or maybe, the no, I think they're the smallest. Anyway, so he was surrendered by a very lovely person who rescued him from an animal shelter that was a kill shelter. So he could have been put down. She met him and she had this really strong connection with him and... Uh, she didn't want to see him get put down, so she adopted him, but then when she got him home, she realized that owning an Italian Greyhound is much different than owning a lot of other dogs. Uh, an Italian Greyhound is definitely not like a Labrador or a Retriever or a Poodle. So if you're looking for that type of dog, do not get an Italian Greyhound. Uh, they are definitely not like a sporting dog. So anyway, she surrendered him. She was very nice. Uh, she wanted the best for him. And then I ended up fostering him and then fell in love with him. And then foster failed and ended up adopting him. So I've had him about three years now. He is very different than your typical Italian Greyhound. I have an Italian Greyhound book, which I read up on last night uh, to prepare for this video because I was kind of like, what is a normal Italian Greyhound? And the book got like some things right. And then they left a lot of kind of the more, uh, the harder stuff out. So Captain is very confident. He thinks he's a very big dog. He has a lot of personality. He's very smart. He understands full sentences. He kind of knows, he like knows what I'm saying. Um, he's very intelligent. He's very friendly. He loves people. He's never met a stranger. Sometimes I'm like, do you, do you even, am I even your mother or is this new person you met your new mom? Um, he just adores everybody. Uh, so the ways that he's different than a normal Italian Greyhound or what you think of as your typical Italian Greyhound is that a lot of, uh, so Italian Greyhounds are also called IGs or Iggies. So I'll use that like interchangeably. A lot of Iggies are very timid and shy and kind of skittish and captain definitely has his moments where he gets scared but it's like i think i've seen him scared all of twice like two times <laughs> he even got bit by another dog once and he was just kind of like what what just happened to me like he didn't look scared well maybe he looked a little scared but he is not a typical italian greyhound so if you uh are looking for a specific type of dog you know you just want to make sure to feel out that dog's temperament first because you could end up with a lot of different types of Italian Greyhounds. It's not like they're o they're only one type of personality. They're like people, you know, there's a million types of people. There's a million, pro maybe not a million types of Italian Greyhounds, but there's a few different kind of mean personalities. So you have like the timid ones, the confident ones, the lazy ones. Anyway, so I first learned about the breed back uh, when I started watching Jenna Marbles like in 2010. I don't know how long she had Kermit at that point. So they were kind of always on my radar like since then. And then when I met Captain, I kind of already knew about them. And I was like, okay, let's try this out. And then we just kind of, we kind of clicked. So um, Italian Greyhounds were definitely on my radar. I didn't know much about their temperament until I started fostering Captain. Uh, so 
If you're thinking about getting an Italian Greyhound, you have to want a lap dog. You have to want a dog that's going to want to be by you all the time, that's going to be needy, that's going to want to go places with you, that's going to want to sleep with you, that's going to, like, they definitely want to be with you. Now, there's some Iggy's that will choose, like, a person, like, they'll have one person that they like, but Captain likes pretty much everybody. Like, I maybe seen him dislike, like, one person, or, like, some people he doesn't care for as much as other people, but, so my dog didn't pick one person like he's in he's like kind of interchangeable in between people uh or transferable I guess this word so like he very easily connects with people but there are some Iggy's out there who do want to have like a human so it they're definitely a lap dog breed they definitely are high maintenance um captain for <laughs> captain has uh feels like a laundry list of health issues so he has hypothyroidism, he has alopecia, he has a heart murmur, he has really bad teeth, he's getting older and he probably can't go under anesthesia. These dogs do come with issues because they are a purebred dog. So, you know, they do have bad teeth. They do, they are very hard to potty train. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. I just feel like every Italian Greyhound owner I've met, I've, the probably fifth question I've asked them is, so is your dog potty trained? Because I've had Captain for three years. This dog goes out four to six times a day and still has accidents inside the house. Like we'll go to the bathroom like like two minutes after we get home from a walk. So he does have to wear a belly band or he has to be crated when he's uh, on his own because he will mark and it is annoying. So they do come with behavior issues. I'm not saying that every Italian Greyhound is a marker. I think like girl dogs don't have that as much of a problem as boy dogs, but I definitely have talked to a lot of Italian Greyhound owners where marking is a pretty big problem. Um, so you do have to deal with issues like that and you have to be really patient and I've just kind of accepted at this point, my dog's nine, he goes to the bathroom inside sometimes and I don't know if that's ever going to change at this point. Uh, the other thing is they do genetically get heart murmurs, so that's like something to be aware of. Uh, it's only bad if it gets worse, but if you could kind of maintain it and check on it every now and then, they like rate it on a scale from one to six. So he's been at a one or a two like the whole time I've had him, so I haven't been too worried because no one's told me it's been like a three or a four, like so it's not getting worse. Um, the other thing that is super, super, super important when you have an Italian Greyhound is to find a vet that knows and has experience working with sight hounds. Now, I'm not talking like if someone, you go into someone and you you ask the vet, hey, have you, do you know anything about sight hounds? Because they're gonna say yes. You should get a reference from someone that you know with a sight hound or like an online Facebook group in your area for rec vet recommendations because the sight hound breed is, uh, or family, well, Italian greyhounds go back 2,000 years. Like I think it dates back to like Greece. And they got popular during the Renaissance. But anyway, the breed is so old that there are very specific things to like their blood work that's so different from like younger dogs, basically, like gen breeds that aren't that old, that if you don't have a vet that is experienced with that, like you could run into a lot of problems, like a lot of problems. For example, Side hounds can't have certain types of anesthesia. So if you take your dog to a vet and the vet doesn't know that and then they put your dog under and they die, like that's a totally real possibility. So they are very sensitive to anesthesia. That is the, after money, <laughs> that is the number two reason why I have not had Captain's teeth done is he's getting older. He has a heart murmur. Uh, they're already problematic under anesthesia. So I've done the, they have anesthesia free uh, dental cleanings where I live. But getting a vet that knows about sight hounds is the most important thing about owning a sight hound. The most important thing. So that must that might mean paying more money uh, to take your dog to the vet. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you guys. Oh, and you know, this is kind of a controversial topic, but I just really have to put this out there. Please don't get your dog from a breeder. I know like so many people argue, well, I know so much about my dog and I know the breeder and the breeder knows her temper and blah, blah, blah. Y'all... Like most breeders, especially if you don't do your homework, if they're background breeders, your dog's going to come with as many problems as if they weren't from a breeder. Like you should just find a dog that works for you, for you. There are a ton of Italian Greyhound rescues, a ton of Italian Greyhound rescues. I think probably because people adopt them and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Um, so please do go with a rescue that is specific to Italian Greyhounds. You might find them every now and then in like a regular shelter, but 
you can seek out, especially on like Facebook and Instagram, a lot of them are super active. You can look for Italian Greyhound Rescues in other states. Like if you're in the US, I know that a lot of times up north, like in the northeast, there's not a lot of Italian Greyhound Rescues. But if you look for them in Texas, they might be able to transport a dog up to you. Like please do not go to a breeder. I cannot, I've done dog rescue and animal rescue and volunteering with animals for like the past 10 years almost 11 years now. I will never tell anyone to get a dog from a breeder. Now, if you want to, that's your own prerogative, but I'm not going to ever tell you that you should do that. So anyway, um, yeah, in closing, I just kind of wanted to share about this just because I know the breed is getting more popular. You know, definitely, I think if you are looking for a smart, uh, cuddly, clingy <laughs> lap dog, um, that kind of just wants to be with you and that's like their main goal is to always be with you <laughs> Then the Italian Greyhound is a great dog I would say it's not a great dog for someone who wants like a sporting dog or you know a dog that's like more independent or a dog that's maybe a little bit more I don't know when I think of like a retriever or a Labrador I just think like goofy or like super athletic like the Iggy's are really athletic they run super super fast but their main goal is to just be like your best friend. Um, so I would definitely say if you're interested, you know, consider all this, do your research, go meet some Italian Greyhounds. Like there's Italian Greyhound meetups and you could go talk to other owners. Definitely talking to other owners is super helpful. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about Italian Greyhounds or anything that I said, just let me know and I'll try to do my best to answer in the comments. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you have an Italian Greyhound. Also, mine is just totally sleeping because he just does whatever he wants. Captain, do you want to say hi to your fans? Let's go see him. Cappy. Cappy. Hi. I'm talking about you. Did you know I'm talking about you? Cappy, you're on the internet. Cappy. 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 <laughs>